Hi, and welcome to my uh, The Gauntlet Movie Review. So, this is my continuation of my series of reviewing Clay Angel movies that he directed and starred in the movie at the same time, leading up to Cry Marshall. Okay, so, um, so before I get into my review, my movie movie review of The Gauntlet, um, uh, let me say that, um, uh, I'm just reviewing, uh, the, uh, Clarence Horn movie that he directed. It said the movie directed by Clarence Horn and also starred Clarence Horn at the same time, okay? Um, okay? Um, and this is leading up to, uh, Clyde Marshall, okay? Um, um, so, um, if you're wondering, uh, uh, what, what some of the other claims from Marine that, uh, I'm not reviewing, that, that you want me to review, uh, therefore, a different time. And no reason why I'm not reviewing some of the other famous claims from Marine. Because, like I said, I'm just reviewing the one that he directed. The movie said directed by Clarence Horn and also starred Clarence Horn. Okay, at the same time. Okay, leading up to Cry Marshall. Cry Marshall is, is, it come, is it, the movie that's coming out, uh, that starred Clarence Horn and also directed by Clarence Horn. Okay? So that's why I'm going back and looking at some of these movies that I have on DVD and my, and my Clarence Horn. Question that they directed by Clarence Horn, also star Clarence Horn. Okay? And so, um, it's, so, um, I'm not, I'm not gonna re be reviewing Dirty Harry. Um, I have Dirty Harry movie. And I've seen a Dirty Harry movie. And I like the Dirty Harry movie. But, uh, so later down the road, I will, um, later down the road, I will review the Dirty Harry movie. For a different theory and um and rank them from what to best and that be for a different theory and also uh the no man the man with no name trilogy you know fifth for a dollar a few dollar more and good bad and ugly i will uh lay down the road i will uh, uh review those separately and rank them from what to best uh, uh lay down the road okay um So, um, The Gauntlet. So, it's a Clarence Horn movie that I have on DVD in my uh, Clarence Horn movie collection. It's directed by Clarence Horn and stars, um, Clarence Horn. And also stars Dundra, uh, Lockton. She, she been in a couple other, um, uh, Clarence Horn movies, like, uh, The Outlaw Jody Well. One of my personal favorite country movies, and also one of my favorite western movies, uh, uh, came out in December 21st, 1977, uh, 109 minutes, uh, budget was 5.5 million, box office 35.4 million, a Ray R, um, so, uh, So basically, um, the movie about, uh, uh, claiming to a character, um, in the movie, his name is, uh, Ben Shockley, which is, he's an alcohol, alcoholic cop from Phoenix. So he worked from the, uh, he worked for the, uh, Phoenix, um, PD. And he go to, um, he go to, um, um, Lock, uh, with the, uh, Las Vegas, pick up a, uh, witness, prisoner that is a witness, you know, to testify, and he find out that, um, they don't want, they don't want, uh, people from the PD, uh, Phoenix PD don't want, uh, don't want, um, her to get back to Phoenix PD, you know, to testify and stuff, and he find out that, um, the reason why he got picked 
for that um, job, pet for that uh, job, or yeah, because um, to do to 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 pick her up and stuff. Um, because uh, he's a bum, he's an alcoholic bum, and nobody really believed that he can do it, and all this stuff. Okay. Uh, and um, um, so um, let me see here. Um, now um, his boss, he he find out that his boss that hired him to do this to go get the pudding up. The prisoner is the woman, Gut Malley. Uh, Gut Malley played by Sandra Locke. She been a couple other uh, claims for me. Um, um, and um. And um. But he find out that his, his ball set him up and his ball is actually the bad guy and not playing to him. Okay, um, Bryce Lock, he, uh, Clint Trump find out that his ball is the, is when I set him up, uh, it's a bad guy. And we find out that, uh, he gotta get, get him back, her back to Phoenix PD. And, and but they don't want him back. They try they try to stop him. Okay. Um. Now. Um. Gut Malley, Sandra Lockley, a character. She, she played the hooker. But you never see her do any hooker thing in the movie. You see, you see biker gang in the movie that try to rape her and uh claims her character Ben Lockley. Uh no, Ben uh Ben uh Shockley. Ben Shockley, you know, can't claim to her character. Uh get the biker off of uh uh Dutch Malley, uh, you know, quit raping her. And you know, you know, they, uh, uh, they they try to rape her on uh, on the train, and claim to her character Ben Chocolate stop stop them. Um, yeah, so her character in the movie, uh, Gus Malley, the one that uh, he picked up from um, go to Las Vegas to pick up at the girl Gus Malley, and she's a hooker, but we never see her do any hooker thing, like you know, actually be a hooker. But like I said, we see you got a biker game try to rape her and claim to her favor. Um, like I said, her boss, I mean, uh, claim to her boss, work a lot, set him up, and don't want claim to her to come back with the gut valley. Um, um, I'm 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 going to the story and the plot and then I'm gonna tell you about like the movie or don't like the movie, okay? Um so um let's see here what what um let's see what other stuff I was gonna say about the movie, um I mean I mean uh, I mean about the plot. Um oh yeah. Um Gus Malley uh, tell, uh, tell Clint to character, Ben Chocolate, um, that one time there's the guy that took him to the room, took her to the room, hotel room, and tied her to the bed, took, make her take her cold down, and, and then, uh, she lay down her, on her belly, and then he took her cold down, um, and then, Got on top of her and put her to her head. So, you could assume, you could assume who that was. 
and after men it will cling to a boss. That's why you uh, uh, cling to a boss. Work a lot, don't want her to come back and testify, because then I'll be the end of uh, the end of uh, uh, his career, and he'll probably go to jail or uh, be persecuted. Okay, uh, but 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 they never mention who 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 actually did it. She just she just said that uh, somebody took her to the hotel room, and that she was the 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 uh, that. She laid on the bed, got tied to the bed, was naked, some guy was naked, got on top of her, or she was on her belly, and, and the guy pulled a gun on her head while he was doing stuff with her body to his back. Okay? Basically, that kind of like rape. Um, so, um, and then, uh, last like 10 minutes in the movie, um, uh, and character Ben Chocolate and Gus Miley got into the bus and they went to town. And you know, Chocolate owned the pre commission and owned the whole, um, uh, owned the whole pre, pre fort. So he told the, uh, pre fort get on building and stuff and treat. And when they come through, they shoot the bus, shoot the bus. And I don't know how he got away with it, but then, but then when he when he came when they came through, playing to you know Ben Chocolate character, you know playing to character Ben Chocolate and Sandri Lockley, you know uh, Gus Malley, uh, when it came through the bus, every priest that was in on top of a building on the street, um, shooting at the butt that. Clint Ward and Thunder Lachlan, you know, Ben Chocolate and uh, Dr. Miley were then shooting. And then they got out, were hurting. Um, ben uh, Buckelock came out and said, What y'all doing? Shoot him! Shoot him! And, uh, I think, uh, I think, uh, Bertolot shoot planes for it, you know, uh, Ben Chocolate, and then Gus Malley crying. Don't die on me, GD, don't die on me. And then she took the gun and shoot, uh, shoot, uh, uh, Bertolot while all the preachers were around. And then the movie's over. So I thought the the, the ending was kind of weak. Uh, I didn't mind them shooting the bus and clinging to it going through. Um, I actually liked the movie. There's some cool stuff in the movie that I like. The movie, to be honest, the movie reminded me of... The movie felt like a Dirty Harry movie. With the bad guys and stuff. It, it reminded me of that one Dirty Harry, I know, I think like the second one, when, when the, the cop turned bad. Um, um, but I, I thought that, I thought that the, um, the ending kind of felt rushed, like, you know, uh, pre commissioner, you know, shot, you know, uh, Black Lot shot Clayton's one, and Gus Malley shot him, and then it's over. Felt, it felt just rushed. But I did like it. I like the helicopter and motorcycle shade. Um, so there are some good stuff in the movie. Uh, at some part, it, it felt corny. Uh, it's an underrated corny for a movie. Um, Rotten Tomato gave it a a uh, a seventy five percent. The audience gave you a fifty four percent. Um, to be honest, and not want to hit bad, and not want to hit worse. It's just an okay. Um, but I do like it. There are some decent stuff in the movie that makes me enjoy the movie. Um, 
I think you can uh, go back to the edit room and edit some stuff around. Maybe take some coin stuff out of the movie. Um, like, like one of the, one of the stuff I didn't like was the, the guy that uh, the guy that, that the woman was talking to and was claiming towards the claiming towards the woman and that I think it's like the creep driver, or whatever talking and then and the claiming towards dead. All right, you had your talk. You had, now shut up. I thought that was corny. That my opinion. Um, stuff like that. I thought I, I felt like the movie could be more. Um, what the word? Um, more action, or 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 the, the villain could be more uh, better. Uh, I like it. I like it when they sh when they were at the house and the police were shooting the house and try to sh shoot the house and claim when claims were trying to escape the house. Uh, stuff like that. Talk to Marie. Uh, I like. So, uh, there's stuff throughout the movie that make me like the movie. And then, there's stuff throughout the movie that I'm like, okay, corny. Like, like the ending. I'm like, oh, the ending felt right. He shot clean to her. And then she, she shot the play commissioner. You know, uh, black lot. I'm like, and then the movie over. I'm like, yeah, felt right. But overall, I like the gauntlet. Not one of my favorite clearance for a movie. Not one of my least favorite. It's just an okay clearance for a movie. Every once in a while, I can, uh, open it, DVD box, uh, the, uh, the gauntlet, put it in and watch it, and get, get entertained. With that being said, I'm gonna give the gauntlet a C plus. Okay? Let me know. Have you ever watched the gauntlet? Oh, you think it's overrated, underrated? And what are some of your what some of claims for me that you think are, are overrated or underrated? Let me know. And you to my channel, hit the like button, subscribe. Thank you.